okay just bought a couple of accessories for the droid cell phone uh, I have to buy these at the Verizon store unless I went online so sort of restricted in what I could buy uh, the phone itself though uh, is a nice form factor it's kind of metal and rubber but uh, for holding it in the car you do a lot of um, car applications that uh, run in this horizontal type of layout and the car charger as you can see on the picture is going to hold that for me uh, off a suction cup off the window and this one was 30 bucks and it comes with the rapid charger so I do have a car charger now and the the cradle for the car and then uh, along with that you can't get these uh, sort of cases or protective covers anywhere except for the Verizon store so I saw a couple of them here and I figured I'd buy them both give them both a try and then uh, I'll probably take back whichever one I don't like or I got some friends that have droids and perhaps we can do multiple reviews and see how they like them so uh, I'll do other reviews of these but this is my sort of uh, before I tear into the one here I wanted to throw the camera on of course I'm gonna be driving home and I'm curious to see how the navigation stuff works when you're not trying to hold and watch the screen all at the same time so I am gonna need to bring out a knife for this And I'll just cut this little piece of tape off the back here. Okay, we've got a charger. Seems pretty decent actually. It's got some sort of a little ring in the back. Maybe that's to hold your cigarette lighter or just to make it easier to pull out I guess and I looked at some of these online did do a little research before I bought it and uh, nothing else in the box there so it looks like we've got uh, somehow I was able to put a widget on my desktop there without thinking about it anyway um, looks like we've got some instructions just in case you don't know how to work the thing pretty much a suction cup and a bracket. You get this bracket that attaches to your phone and then you get this gizmo with a adjustable arm that's going to connect to the dash to the windshield. Now the reason I got this one, I guess I'll just go ahead and open up this bracket. Um, after looking at a couple of different versions online on eBay and whatnot, the one here from Motorola clips in got a couple of clips in back here so on the antenna end where the buttons are it just sort of clips in this middle clip lets it clip in and out and the reason I got this one is it covers the camera but there's not a lot of material here to remove drill a hole here and uh, then I can use this as a camera mount as well and you'll see that um, there's a magnet in the back here I guess that whenever you apply a magnet to the back of the screen uh, it becomes the navigation setup so again this one should be pretty decent for using the GPS and navigation parts of the thing and hopefully uh, I'm going to be able to modify it to be able to be a, a car phone a car camera car camcorder for me also I've got a couple applications like the uh, time-lapse camera that uh, allows you to take a photo like once every two minutes or whatever uh, periodic uh, thing you set and then that way I figure I could do some neat sort of time-lapse driving videos uh, not to mention just plain videos of the navigation and whatnot so Motorola product because of that it's not super cheap but thirty dollars isn't too bad for something that's gonna allow me to uh, to drive relatively sa much safer and uh, get the full use out of my phone so it's made in China unfortunately like everything seems to be fairly well made though solid plastic just from playing with it here I guess I will go ahead and bust into it since I'm not gonna bother driving home without the navigation what if I got lost I've only been to the side of town 200 times in the last year so I might lose my way that must be a fan honking to uh, be on YouTube. 
uh, not much to it. You do get a suction cup. Um, seems really solid actually. A lot more solid than I would have thought looking at the videos. So uh, very well made and we'll give it a run through and see how well it works. Alright, I decided to go with mine just above my review mirror here. It's actually just a little bit above and a little bit uh, to the side of my rear view mirror and I think for me I'm a tall guy and I truck or whatever this way I can see it right when I'm looking at my rear view mirror. Navigate. It knows your location of course so you give it an end point. You get the screen right away. Looks like it's going to be pretty handy. I'm going to say uh, Fuddruckers. Autocomplete has it right there for me. Done. Done. And then I'll say go. Couldn't be on here more securely, so pretty happy with it. It's telling me the instructions on how to get there now. It's telling me that it's uh, four minutes away. Uh, it's about zero feet. Oh, zero feet before I make my next turn. I'm going to need to go out and make a left or a U-turn because it's a split street here. So pretty neat stuff. I'll go back and on this map view I will uh, get rid of the layer of satellite and then I'll zoom in and just like always I can use two fingers to zoom. Probably wouldn't use two fingers when I'm driving but uh, so far it looks like a pretty handy addition. Definitely worth the $30 so far. And I'm hoping that in that location or something like this, um, once I cut that hole for the camera, we might actually be able to use this dual purpose as a camera that points out the front of the dash. Alright, so as my first test of the uh, navigation here, I'm going to uh, do a test run and my location now is basically the Verizon store here in Tucson. And for the location, I put TTT Truck Stop, which is the Triple T Truck Stop. It was one of the only places in town to buy CB radios. Get a good truck stop breakfast. It's saying, do you mean the truck stop or do you mean the truck and RV wash? And I'll say the truck stop. It's the same place, really. And now it's going to find that information for me. And I'll say navigate. Turn that volume up. And I can reach the volume control, no problem. North Cope Road. Then turn right at North Cope Road. Okay, so now it's telling me to get on Cold Road and take a right. So I'm going to leave the camera on for as long as it'll record. Continue for two miles. Not really on the road, but it, I guess it doesn't know that yet. Pretty interesting how it's uh, adjusting to my point of view or my perspective on the map. And as soon as we actually get to move in some speed here, I think it'll be a little bit more impressive. There's the Verizon store that I just bought it at. Kind of annoying that you can only buy these from the uh, actual store. And that you can't just go to like a Walmart or a, a dollar store or something and find Verizon stuff. I'm worried about the camera a little bit, so I'm not going 90 miles an hour down the road here, but if it's picking up the screen there. We're doing a pretty good job of uh, following the streets as they come by. I can tell that the next street is going to be called Baker. I'll verify that on the planet. And yes, it is called Baker. The next street is called Fifth. And it's sure enough, that's Fifth Street. It's telling me I've got about 1.5 miles before I want to take a right that I'm about 25 minutes away still. 
Now, I'm not too sure about their 1.3 miles concept there. I'm going to have to dispute its uh, route that it took, but I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. Looks like it's going to have me turn on a street that I would normally not turn on. And I'm assuming that if you have a discrepancy with the plant, with the route, that you can give it some uh, guidance. Now I uh, forgot I have to go to the bank, so I'm going off the directions here, and I suspect that it's going to start yelling at me. In 800 feet, turn left at East Princeton Drive. Because I am totally going in almost 180 from where I told it I wanted to go. So it's trying to readjust that route for me. And I'm in a sort of weird residential area. Lots of curvy streets, rivers and washes and stuff that I can't make a turn everywhere. And now it's going to freak out again and get mad at me. So, um... Again, it's just going to start yelling at me here because I decided to go to the bank instead of to the truck stop that it wanted me to go, or that I told it I wanted to go to. But, uh, kind of interesting, uh, test of it here. <laughs> 